When looking back to Operation Bootstrap, Puerto Rico was already accumulating thousands of dollars in debt. To this day, the debt has not stopped accumulating, resulting in the placement of a fiscal oversight board over Puerto Rico's economic decisions on projects to undertake. Every statistical survey points to a decline in population and income in almost every former boom town in Puerto Rico, except for Guaynabo. Guaynabo has been very successful in its task of being able to prevent large-scale migration from its municipality in addition to being able to establish a counter-recessive pattern. Our goal was to, was to explore how the municipality of Guaynao has been able to continue developing and improving its infrastructure, such as the plan. The benefactor of East Asian Bistro in Guaynao, Puerto Rico. Mr. Yu, in your own opinion, do you think Guaynao is a powerhouse in terms of the economy for Puerto Rico? And why did you choose Guaynabo to open East Asian Bistro? A lot Bistro? of families, a lot of uh, urbanizations, a lot of apartment buildings, and a lot of people concentrated in one area. And when we moved there 12 years ago, there was not much around for the people living there in the area to do, besides to go out to San Juan or other places. So we established East there because we thought there was a need for that area. That's Mr. Colon and Mrs. Colon, two residents of the Torrimar urbanization in Guaynabo, Puerto Rico. Do you believe Guaynabo is one of Puerto Rico's economic powerhouses to this day? You know, we don't have that much of manufacturing. Or we have commerce and housing, uh, but it's, uh, it's an upper scale housing area. But uh, as far as, you know, production or manufacturing, I don't think we have too much of that. So, the property values are higher, so the municipal government collects a good uh, amount of taxes, so it's a well-off municipality. Thank you. So now, what are some notable changes that you have seen in Guaynabo's development and infrastructure? You were practically well, raised here in Guaynabo. I wasn't. <laughs> well, uh, Guaynabo, in my lifetime, has grown exponentially because uh, I can remember things from the 50s and uh, you know the road system uh, a lot of improvement in the and population wise has grown tremendously so the infrastructure has grown a lot a lot in that, in that time as well as in most of Puerto Rico as an example, your father's a... Yeah, we a used to a, live in uh, what is now Roosevelt Avenue. And when I was born, that was a dirt road. It was not, 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 not an avenue. And uh, so, you know, it's a big, big changes. Uh, road number two that has been there for a long time. The same width in this area of uh, now. But uh, all other like uh, Martinez Nadal, and, you know, that's a recent construction, maybe 20, 30 years ago. No? But, well, his uh, father's farm is where Colegio Puerto Rico de Niñas is now. Colegio Puerto Riqueño. Puerto Riqueño de Niñas is now. <laughs> As said, there were several improvements to the transportation and movement of people. Guaynabo constructed the Los Filtros Connector Road from PR 177, also known as Los Filtros, to Las Cumbres with a link to Route 833. This was a $25 million investment. In addition, a $32.5 million investment was made to develop and construct 180 single-family homes in Las Ramblas, a downtown Guaynabo urbanization. A trickle-down effect of these was an increase in revenue for the municipal government as well as the creation of hundreds of jobs. Another multiply effect would be the development of several projects including uh, alleviation of traffic and development of commercial zones. Commercial zones were not the only improvements. Residential areas were also built in massive amounts to attract many residents. The minimal population decrease in Guaynabo can be seen in uh, surveys conducted by the Puerto Rican government itself, in addition to uh, USA, uh, data USA, have shown that the population decrease is approximately varying between 1 to 3% a year. So Guaynabo has been excellent in uh, making sure that the population decrease is very, quite minimal. And the population number stays almost the same. 
it has done so by attracting um, foreign immigrants with uh, many commercial and commercially economic incentives. Most of this population that resides in, in Guaynabo resides in gated communities. Due to the large uh, quantity of gated communities in Guaynabo, uh, the municipal government is able to obtain most of its revenue uh, from taxes on, on housing. For years, the decline in Puerto Rico seemed impossible, then became improbable, but eventually the economic fall became inevitable. Puerto Rico has been on a downward spiral that has been accelerated due to recent events, specifically Hurricane Maria. Yet, despite being surrounded by sheer chaos, one municipality has remained an outlier, the municipality of Guaynabo. Guaynabo has become the island's main source of consistency and advancement. In 2014, a trio of private and public sector development projects launched one of the most heavily financed operations in years, summoning about $350 million. The latter would not only call for collaboration among public and private organizations, but also generate 5,819 jobs during the construction process and 3,646 permanent jobs once the site was fully operational. Thus, it is a fair statement to say, Guaynabo is the island's leader in innovation, advancement, and its main source of stability. Thank you.